hearts of his trees pain our ancestors bled and died but with strength and will power we overcame to restore virgin islands pride to preserve the beauty we devise a plan to obtain ownership of your precious land educating your people is the goal and key to maintain the success of this territory oh how radiant are your daughters and how wealthy are your sons your beaches boast your beauty and your success is second to none hopes and pride oh beautiful virgin islands your qualities can never be denied may god richly bless this territory may we ask three things of thee courage for all great leaders that they may wisdom for our people that they may live in harmony and understanding for our children that they may cherish this legacy oh how radiant are your daughters and how wealthy are your sons your Boast your beauty and your success is second to none. Green and brilliant are your hillsides, they replenish our hopes and pride. Oh, beautiful Virgin Islands, your qualities can never be denied. I have a prayer by Mr. Sylvester Smith. Amen. Let's go ahead and bow our heads. Father in heaven, we humbly come before you, grateful for this day that we could talk to our students about the possibilities of working in the world or going off to college. God, we pray that you would encourage their hearts, encourage their minds to be open, ready to receive the information that they would receive. God, we pray that you would encourage them to really learn, to give their, their minds and their every effort to taking in and soaking in the information that will be beneficial to their lives. We thank you so much for this day. We ask that you bless it. Everything will go well and pleasing in your sight. We thank you. We love you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. We will now have the welcome by Dr. Brian Penn, the representative of the H. Laverty Stowe Community College. You can be seated. Co-chairs, Mrs. Kim, Ms. Kimberly Drummonds, Mr. Shaquille Bell, Mr. Selwood, principal at, uh, assistant principal at the Elmo South High School, the facilitators for the various workshops, administrators, members of the faculty, staff, and student body of the college and other institutions, other high schools that are here today, students, members of the Right Start organizing team, we wish you all a very pleasant good morning. I bring you a warm welcome on behalf of the Right Start organizing committee President Dawson and the rest of the HLSCC family of administrators, faculty, staff, and students. 
We do value this opportunity to visit with you, the program enrollees, and congratulate you all for valuing and take, taking advantage of the educational opportunities that have been offered to you thus far. The professionals here today were once in your current places of having to make serious life choices, much like you now face. It's safe to say we concluded that our success in life hinged on being ever more serious about education and the associated quality of work that goes along with that. Other choices to be made included how our resources of time, energy, friendships, and family resources were managed. These are also some of the judicious choices that you will need to make as individuals, as today's distractions are perhaps greater than those that we face as youngsters. The good news is you now have access to more information and at an earlier age than we did. Knowledge is indeed power. Obtain as much as possible and use it as wisely as possible to help guarantee your success in life. Decades ago, a student graduated from high school in June and showed up as a teacher without training in September of that same year. So it was with many of the other jobs, most of which were in the public service. As you know, that's no longer the case. Tertiary level certificates and degrees are required for most jobs. Moreover, for some of those few jobs that may not require a college certificate or degree, jobless college graduates are applying, so the competition will then still be stiff and in the favor of those who have acquired a college training. This reality coupled with the need to adapt to shifting labor markets and a constantly spiraling cost of living index requires high levels of knowledge, skills, and competence to get one's toe in the proverbial door. Getting one's toe in the door is one thing, however. Being the best at what one does ultimately determines if one performs well succeeds and remains in the door. For the undecided and those of you that have decided to continue your studies, I encourage you to seriously consider the H. Lively Stout Community College. This institution can help you establish a sound educational foundation upon which to build a successful future if and I stress that word, if you come ready to take, take in all that you can and actively engage in the learning process. So it is with this year's Right Start program, which features an impressive array of workshops and facilitators. I am confident that you will gain much once you have come with the intention of learning and actively engaging in the learning process. The types of knowledge and skills that you will get will serve you well, regardless of your chosen career path. Take in as much as you can. In closing, I again wish you a warm welcome and invite you to take full advantage of the entire Right Start experience. And now, Please join me in a round of applause for the organizers of this program. The facilitators that you will be with for the next two days. And please give yourselves a round of applause for being here and coming ready to learn. I wish you all well in your futures. We now have a few remarks from Ms. Donna Klein Thomas. 
morning. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. Um, I'm establishing the protocol. Hopefully it's already established. And I want to say congrats because you're going into the real world. Give yourselves a hand. And I want to say thank you to the visiting schools. Give yourselves a hand. And I want to recognize all of you for three things. And I need you to remember these three things. The first is leadership. You say that after me. Say it like you mean it. You're going to lead. You're going to lead and not follow. You will only follow if the leader is truly a leader. And then you follow in that leader's footsteps to do the right thing. Because it's the right. Number two. You're going to stay focused. Say stay focused. What are you staying focused on? Hmm? You're staying focused on everything that has to do with your new life. Because you're not a student at high school anymore, but you'll be a student of life. Give yourselves a hand for that. And you must lead and focus on a good life. All right? And the third thing is the best thing. Stay in God. Say that. Is that important to do? What's the first one? Second one? And the third? Listen, without God, leadership and focus won't work. Nobody's saying amen. Okay? So I want you guys to have a wonderful day today. I want you to have a wonderful two days. And then I want you to grasp, garner everything that you can from your presenters and all your workshops. And I want you to do something that we don't usually do. And I want the gentlemen to hear me, male students. I want you to have a voice. I don't want the women, the ladies, to do all the talking in these sessions. I want you to have a voice. Let me hear your voice. Come on, speak. Men, speak. I want to hear the bass. Good. I want you guys to have a voice. And I don't want young men to allow young women to outspeak them. I want you to lead. All right? Give yourselves a hand, men. And lastly, lastly, before I sit, because I have to go back to school, because a lot's going on there, I want you all to give me the opportunity to get everything that you have received in high school, I want you to give me the opportunity to get that all back from you between now and graduation day. Somebody say, what, what am I getting? I'm getting you to class on time. I'm getting you to your CXC uh, exams on time. I'm getting you there. Come on, I'm not hearing you. Give back to us. I'm getting you to ace and grade one every exam you take. Huh? Give back what you've learned in the five years between now and graduation day. Give yourselves a hand. God bless. And on behalf of the administration of the Elmer Stout High School, what are the three things we want you to do? Number one? one number one? Number two? And number three? All right, somebody say amen. amen. Thank you, God bless. We will now have a brief remark by Mr. Selwood. Chairpersons, distinguished guests, faculty and staff of HLSCC and all of the other secondary schools, students, good morning. I'm giving remarks on behalf of the Minister of Education because he's unable to be here today. Many different activities that he has to attend to. It's a pleasure to be here this morning to address 
the individuals who will start and chart our future of our territory. The 21st century comes with many opportunities and an equal amount of challenges. The individuals who will positively impact the progress of the society are tasked with finding the correct balances in their lives. A 21st century individual can access information at a click of a button, contact friends and colleagues anywhere in the world at any time, create a business without leaving the house, pay bills at any time from anywhere, can comment about events from anywhere through Twitter, and the list goes on and on. Knowing how to discipline ourselves to balance the, the innovations that merges our lives, our studies, our work, and play is a very intriguing task. Minister Wildman wanted me to remind our students that as a community, the Virgin Islands believes in the promise that your youth embodies for your lives and also for the lives, for, for the, the future of the Virgin Islands. Through the Ministry of Education and Culture, all of these departments, we have placed our time, resources, and efforts to ensure that each child under our charge through our school system has every opportunity to live up to their full potential with an improved education system dedicated to provide opportunities to ensure that your teachers are constantly being retrained and are able to teach all learning levels. Programs such as Emerging Fellows, Elite Athletes, Youth Employment Services, and the launch of a youth policy, we are presenting every opportunity for all of you to be successful. Having gone through adolescence ourselves, a long time ago for me, we know that this time of your lives present many challenges that may inhibit some of you from actively seeking out the opportunities I've mentioned or simply being the best student you can be. That is, that is why, young people, it is important for your long-term success to continue to develop healthy habits that will take you through adolescence your first job, college life, and whatever representation of yourself you choose to have to positively, to positively impact of our community. To set, you, to set you up for success, this is my hope that you already understand the importance of one of the most significant habits, discipline. Discipline to me, is the ability to do what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, without anybody monitoring you or telling you to do it. Living a disciplined life will give you time and opportunities to develop yourselves to the highest level. I don't think Beyonce would be successful if she just sang one song every once in a while. I don't think Kobe Bryant would have gotten to the point where he did if he decided to, to play a little ball every one or two weeks. From an early age, like many other successful people, they develop the habit of discipline and also commitment to their tasks and crafts so that they can reach the highest level. On an everyday basis, I encourage all of you also to refine these important habits that will lead you to success. One, being kind and considerate to your classmates, a random person on the street, or someone who has not always been kind to you, will teach you how to be compassionate to your neighbors, and it will also shape how others view you and even the opportunities availed to you. That is very important. Developing a positive outlook on life by always keeping the faith and the mindset 
to work towards finding solutions. Employers and successful people want those around them who are positive and solutions oriented, not a complainer or someone who only sees the negative in everything. Setting strict times for Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, so that it does not negatively impact your work, your study time, and it will teach you how to balance the limited time we all have each day. Getting into the habit of using technology for work and study rather than socializing and playing games will teach you how to be resourceful and will enable you to be a greater benefit to your friends and future employers. The government of the Virgin Islands believes in the young people of this territory and we are confident that you will make the right choices for your success and for the success of the territory. It is impossible to have a successful territory without successful young people. We encourage you to remain focused and to have fun, but always be aware of the habits that you need to develop to achieve success. I thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Selwood, for those remarks and trying to help us to be better students. We also want to thank Mrs. Donna Klein Thomas and Dr. Brian Penn. And right now, we will have a selection by the Phoenix Band. Beautiful people, beautiful people. inside it's your life it's your life your beauty's deep inside inside you don't let it bring you down oh the beauty is inside you don't let it bring you down oh Do you remember the twenty first night of September? Why we chasing the hard I remember? Why we chasing the clouds away? Bah 
hearts are ringing to the key that our souls were singing. As we dance in the night, remember, as the stars stole the night away. Come on, sing it, sing it. Body say that you remember. Body dancing in September. Body never was a cloudy day. Baduru baru, baduru baru, baduru baru, baduru baru, baduru baru, barida. My thoughts are with you, holding hands with your heart to see you. Only blue talking love, remember, as we knew love was here to stay. Now December, find the love we share in September. Only blue talking love, remember. True love we share today. Yeah, yeah. Body say that you remember. Body dancing in September. Body never was a cloudy day. Was ringing, our souls were singing. Do you remember? Never a cloudy day, yeah. And we say, Body, say that you remember. Body, dancing in September. Body, never was a cloudy day. Body, 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 We will now have our motivational speaker, Mr. Karim Hull. Karim Nelson Hull. Good morning, everyone. All right. Before we even begin, let's make a check and see who is in the house. Seventh day Adventist, I hear that you're here. That's all you're going to do is wave. Seventh day Adventist, are you here? Make some noise if you're here, Seventh day Adventist. That's all right. We're going to show. All right. BFEC, are you here? See, that's my school right there. Brigade of Flax, are you here? That's right. You're here. Okay. When you hear your name, make some noise, people. St. George's, are you here? No? No? Oh, you're St. George's? No? Okay. Help them out. All right, cool. Okay. Let's check this air now. Chill, 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 chill. Five science, are you here? You know you have to always call, you know your guy calls science force. I rather they don't feel a smack. Okay? Five keyboarding, are you here? Whoa. Huh? Five woodwork, are you here? Cool, all right. Five accounts, are you here? What? Accountants making noise these days, all right. Five visual arts, are you here? Good, all right. Five family and consumer science, are you here? That's right. You don't need no more help with yourself, that's good. Five industrial technology, are you here? So I'm gonna make no noise at all. It's all right, it's all right. Five Infotech A. Okay. Five Infotech B, are you here? Okay. Hmm. 
What about five motor vehicle studies? Are you here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Five electronics. Are you here? Wow. Five metal. Are you here? And just when you thought all things had passed, you go and save the best for last. Five liberal arts. Are you here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Well, there's a reason why I did that, because I was in five arts when I graduated 15 years ago from the BVI High School. Good morning, everyone. Again, my name is Kareem Nelson Hull, and there was no lofty introduction, what I've done, um, what I've accomplished at all, because one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about is the things that you want to be known as. If you say the word, I am, you say, who is Kareem? I am. I don't want to be only known as I am the head marketer at Lime, right? I am a proud Virgin Islander. Those things actually mean more to me, right? Today's um, motivational session won't be long, right? Realistically, for the last five years, for some people six, right, of your lives, you've had a lot of people talking to you about the things that you should do or what you should expect and all that. The truth is, I know that as you're facing your graduation, some of you are excited, while others of you are scared. If some of you are like me 15 years ago, I wasn't sure I was going to pass my math exam, okay? So I had all the, all the other subjects were covered, right? But I was a bit scared about mathematics. I cried about it. I even had to set the lower level math just to be sure, and I actually passed my level math, and I graduated with honors, okay? So... I know some people are at that position. So I don't want to be long. Today, I'm not going to talk to you about sex, okay? Although I know you probably want to. But I will tell you this, people. This is free advice. Condoms are always cheaper than pampers. Okay? Just a joke, all right? I'm not going to talk to you today. I'm not going to talk to you today at all about your vocabulary. Words like fleek and blend, and boss, but I want you to know that those things are not going to really exist in the real world, okay? So in this last year of your high school life, use those words, but don't take them into the office. Deal? Okay. I'm not going to try to talk to you guys about the game of love, right? But I want to tell all the men in here something today, as we continue. Men, if you treat her like a queen, she will treat you like a king. If you treat her like a toy, she's going to show you how the game is played. All right? Just a little word of advice. <laughs> I am not going to tell you what your graduation is going to mean for you. Because realistically, graduations literally mean that you have made it through and you should be proud. It also means you have a piece of paper in your hand that can get you to the next step. What it doesn't mean is what your life is going to be in total. I'll tell you a quick story. When I graduated 15 years ago, there was a young man who is actually now a teacher at the Elmo Stout High School. And I remember he was four points short of getting his um, high school diploma. So he didn't graduate, didn't have the lofty graduation, didn't wear the cap, didn't wear the gown. But that young man, my friend, is now teaching at your school and he also, is not, also now has a master's degree. So no matter what happens from this point onward, you have more chances in life to redeem yourself. So graduations will mean a lot of things to a lot of people, right? What I really am here to talk to you about today is one simple thing that I believe is the major habit for you creating a successful lifestyle. And it is a habit. And the only thing that's going to be constant as life continues to change is you. Do you understand that? The only thing that's going to be constant in life is you. You are always going to be the major factor. When I was at the University of Miami, I joined a fraternity. I pledged for nine weeks, one day, 28 minutes, and nine seconds to earn my letters. When I was there, I learned as I was pledging this thing that it said, the only thing in life that is constant is change. Those who adapt will stay, and those who do not will fade away. 
It said the only thing in life that is constant is change. Those who adapt, they stay, and those who do not, they fade away. And the more and more I said those words as I pledged for those nine weeks, I remember I realized that the one thing that was most important there was me. I had to adapt, and I had to change. So what I am here to talk to you about is simply about you. It's about two words that I think are the most powerful words that will appear in your life. And they are the words I and am. I am. Because the truth is, whatever happens after those two words appear, I didn't write them down or bring a big sheet or anything because you can think about that. Whatever happens after I and am will become true in your life. Does anybody believe that? People have said a lot of things about you, including for those for Elmore Stout, you are going to be the last fifth form in the history of that school. That's amazing. And forever you can say, I am a part of that, of that class. But what else will I am mean for every single one of you? And I'd want to challenge you today to define what it will say for I am. Because if you create it today and you say, I am this, I am that, what it creates for you is when somebody says you are something else, you go back to the fact that that's not me you're talking about. Because I am this instead. Let's talk about people who've actually used the words I am to mean the most powerful ways. We're going to start with the first person that I knew that proclaimed I am. Exodus 3 and verse 14. We're in the Bible now, right? Okay, cool. Um, actually a proud member of the class of 2000 as well. We graduated together, all right? So we're going to start at the beginning. It was Jehovah God himself who first said, I am. In Exodus 3.14, we're talking about a time when Moses is talking to God and he says, well, who am I going to tell them sent me? And God said, tell them the I am. And he dropped the mic and walked away. God had that kind of audacity to say, tell them I am sent you. In 2000, the white rapper Eminem wrote a song that said, that was called The Way I Am. Do you guys know the song? Yeah. I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say that, right? He wrote the song proclaiming that that's who he is. And the final thing, the final thing I um, reference for I am that I want to do is in February 18th, 2002, R. Kelly released this little song. Can I sing a little bit for you? Yeah. That Okay. Now, mind you, I'm not Kitwan, okay? So give me a little do here. Hey! Where light is that? No, do that. I am a mountain, I am a tall tree, oh, I am a swift wind sweeping the country, I am a river down in the valley, oh, I am a vision, and I can see clearly, if anybody asks you who I am, come on y'all. You stand up tall, look him in the face and say, hey, I'm that star up in the sky. I'm that mountain peak up high. Hey, I made it. I'm the world's greatest. Hey, I'm that little bit of hope. When your back's against the rope, I can see it. Hey. I'm the world's greatest, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The kind of audacity that R. Kelly had to write in that song, I am the world's greatest. And if you believe that you are the greatest class of 2015, who's going to check you, right? When you go into your job places, there will be different things you're going to encounter. But if you are able to define after the words, I am, these are the things that are going to keep you who you are. 
Now, don't get me wrong. There are some things you're going to have to change. When I went to the workforce, I remember sending emails to people and sometimes forgetting to put something in the subject line. My boss taught me that you can't do that. And after that, I became much more thorough. So I am thorough when I do my job. My last name is Hull. So sometimes when I do something and somebody says, oh, you did a good job, I said, well, yeah, I do a hell of a hell of a job every time, <laughs> right? But I am the definition of what I want my own success to be. Today, there's only one thing I want to encourage you to do is define what you will say I am after your name. And I'll give you a minute to think about it. Every single one of you, think about it. I am, and fill in the blank. Go ahead. Everybody got something? Does everybody honestly in here have something right now where you say, I am, and you can fill in the blank? Yes? Was it hard to find? How many of you do not have one adjective that you want to use for I am blank? The most positive thing or most powerful thing. You have more than one or do you, or do you not have any? Nothing is coming to mind at all. Ricardo, nothing? Shake your head, Ricardo. See what comes up. What about you there? Somebody over here? Didn't have something either? You have something? You do. Wonderful. This is all I want you to do today, right? And it's no, as I said, it was not, not going to be a lofty speech or anything that's crazy. At the end of today, by the end of today and by the end of tomorrow, be able to say, I am. After you say, I am Kareem Nelson Hall, or I am Ricardo, or I am Akeem, I am, what's the next thing going to be? How are you going to continue to define yourself as I am? I want you guys to be as bold as R. Kelly to say that you are the world's greatest. When you go into the workforce and they say to you, you're not smart enough, you tell them, I am intelligent. I wasn't aiming for smart. Right? Black women here, when the magazines say to you that you are not traditionally beautiful, you tell them, I am the epitome of beauty. There will be some employers that will look to you and they will say, you are not what I need. To them, you will say, I am more than enough. Okay? When people look at you as a Virgin Islander or someone from a small island and you go abroad and they say, you don't fit the mold. You say, I am the only mold that can never be recreated. You understand? Class of 2015, it's a very simple message. It began in the Bible, in Exodus. Eminem rapped about it, and R. Kelly sang about it. I am. And what will I am stand for? It's a simple question, a simple challenge, right? I am, and what will it stand for? So before we are done... Abru, you can start rolling the music silently as he plays that song. I'm going to ask you all just a simple question to finish the sentence. One word, or if one word won't do, you can use another word. More than one word, right? All I want you to do is 2015 to tell me I am. And the word that you choose, chances are, is going to define who you're going to be for the rest of your life. But remember, even if you are something now, you can decide to change that. Okay? You guys ready? Easy assignment. No grades. No pass. No fail. No wrong answer. I am. A champion. Hold on. I am. A champion. Do you hear him? Hold on. A bit lower, Abru. I want you to say it. Stand up. Stand up tall. Look him in the face and... I am a champion. I am a champion. How are you? Stand, stand up tall. Look him, in, look him in the face and say. I am phenomenal. I am phenomenal. That's right. 
Phenomenal. I'm going to toss the microphone to you in the pink shirt. I am a photographer. I am not talking to you. <laughs> but you are a great photographer, actually. Pink shirt. I am the trap. I am the trap. He said, I am the trap. What does that mean? This is the trap, or it's a squad named the trap. All right. So, are all of you the trap? That's the original trap right there. Hi, young lady. How are you? Stand up tall. Look him in the face. I am successful. And I promise you that if she says, I am successful, every time somebody says, nah, she's a loser, she'll say in my mind, no, I am successful. I am. I am going to be the future. I am going to be the future. Bro, you are going to be the future. I believe it. Over here. I know y'all ain't getting much shine. You're over here in the dark a little bit. Right? You. Where are you going? Let's go. I am the future. Y'all make some noise for that. He is the future. All right? Anybody else want to share one adjective? Anybody else? Let me come here. Stand up, stand up. Of course. You guys show off that fabulous outfit you're wearing right now. I am. I am beautiful. I completely agree that you are beautiful. I am intelligent. Say it again, they didn't hear you. I am intelligent. I am determined. That's right. I am the definition of outstanding. I am the definition of outstanding, she said. I am amazing. I am amazing, she said. I agree. I am a perseverer. I am a perseverer. I'm going to take one more right here. Stand up. I am unstoppable. That's what I'm talking about. I am unstoppable. I'm a perseverer. I am the trap. <laughs> I am amazing. Class of 2015, I'm asking you again. Every, each of, each, every one of you, each of you, think about it. Finish the sentence in your mind and in your heart today. I am and fill in the blank. And whatever that I am thing that is positive, keep it constant in your life. When you get out there in the real world, you will realize things are definitely going to change. But the one thing that shouldn't change is perseverance, is determination, is amazing, is the definition of success, is beautiful. Those things should never change. The final thing before I leave, I was, I was once applying for a job, I think it was in college, and they asked me a very interesting question, right? If I call your mother right now, and I said, Mom, I want you to tell me three things about your son or your daughter what three things she going to say and that's how i want to end today by saying this if you believe that you are something if you are amazing if you are unstoppable if you're undeniable 
if you are a star, if you are a celebrity, if you believe these things, do other people see them in you? Are you convincing them enough so that when your life is ended, you don't have to tell your own story in life, but as much as you said, I am this, they can then turn back and say, he is this or she is this. Class of 2015, you are amazing. You are unstoppable. You are history makers and world changers sitting right in this room. You understand? 15 years ago, we were the first class going into the new millennium, 2000. And they said that we were the, 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 the class that was going to change time. What I want to let you guys know that at the end of your definition, you are the class that will command and revolutionize time. Congratulations. <laughs> Star up in the sky, I'm that mountain peak up high. Hey, I made it. Mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest.